Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. This month uh, we're doing Corgis as our monthly team build. So me, Leo, over at Leo's Diecast Garage, Opa, and Tizok over to HD Cat. So I wonder what they're going to do for Corgis. I've had this one since I have been a kid. It's actually in pretty decent shape. I did manage to source some stickers but they're not the same exact uh size so they're a little different but they do fit or they will fit so um, at least i have those so this is a corgi jr leyland leland terrier so I'm very excited to do this, actually. It's kind of an easy restoration, so... Alrighty. So, I'm going to start taking this apart. Alright, well, I uh, drilled out the bottom post, and didn't go as smooth. So, what happened was, was I... The drill wandered and put a big hole in the plastic. So I'm going to fill it in with some putty and then paint it black and hopefully you won't notice it. But I did manage to save this post, so I'll be able to tap that hole. So let me take it apart here. Pretty simple unit. So it looks like the wheels will just come out pretty easily. Let me see here. Man, if only they were all that easy. Okay. And there's that. And then here's the body. And it looks like the windscreen will probably just pull out. And there we go. And it's actually in like new condition. And this is gonna this is gonna hopefully turn out really well. There's not a lot of damage and broken parts, so. There we have it. So we will uh, get this to the stripper and bundle that chassis and then we'll be off to the races. All right, here's the update on the Corgi Coca-Cola truck. Um, haven't done any sanding yet or any polishing or cleaning, but this was uh, right out of the stripper and rinsed it with soapy water. And I did manage to tap out a couple of holes. There we go. Even though I, the drill wandered. There we go. Should have enough uh, threads in there to secure it when I'm done. So, and here's the other parts. Um, this is where I patched my hole. I'm going to paint it anyway. It'll... Look like I never uh, messed it up. All right, so I'm going to polish this baby up. All right, so here's the Coca-Cola truck after a cleaning. And I actually sanded it with some really fine sandpaper, hoping to get some of the pits out. And I just got to rinse it with soap and water. And... Uh, put some primer on it. The uh, casting is not as detailed as Matchbox, but, however, still pretty good nonetheless. So, all right. I will take this and prime it up. All right, here's a picture of the Coca-Cola Corgi... Leland Terrier truck. It's all primed up. Uh, this one I actually sanded it down really good. I think I said it in the previous clip. Don't remember because I film as I go. So anyway, so here it is. Details are looking pretty good. And then first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the roof uh, white. Uh, and then I'll have to just when I'm done with that, I'll just tape it off and then uh, paint the rest red. So, until next shoot. Alright, it is time for the final reveal for our monthly 
Diecast Mafia build. So I actually chose Corgi as the theme. So this is a Coca-Cola truck that I've had for, I think, for about 40 years probably. Um, it's just been in my box for a while and I've just been eyeing it. So I thought to myself, well, it should be a good uh, restoration. So uh, basically took it apart, stripped it, painted it and sourced the uh they're actually stickers uh online they're a little different but they'll work hardest part was uh trimming out the roof um, i was struggle with doing two tones and yeah everything uh turned out pretty good so um i'm looking forward to the other guys uh builds opa tizok and leo so i'll leave links to their builds and and we'll see their corgis so once again thanks for watching leave a comment if you like and subscribe if you want to and thank you for watching until next time